everybody, Yokel here, back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation. Welcome back to the big show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by today. How are you guys and gals doing? Great. All right. Good to hear it. Let's go and let's work on the Mighty Mineralis Mining Contraption some more. I've spent a little bit of time, as you may be able to tell, working on it since the last episode. Changed it up just a tiny bit. Well, actually, I've changed it up quite a bit. <laughs> That's a lie. I've changed it up quite a bit. I was having some problems with the timing on the uh, the, uh, the precision auto dropper, so I started messing around with it. And one thing led to another. And next thing you know, I, everything's different. So uh, I was coming over here though. I'm not sure I like these black steps up here. I thought it might be kind of cool to have something look a little different, but <laughs> I'll explain that here in just a second. Um, no, it's so cool. I'm still getting used to it. I, uh, I've, I've swapped out the, here, I'll just tell you now. I've swapped out the, the ranged collectors from Gadgetry with a ranged collector from um, actually Additions. And the cool thing about it is that it has a much better range and I can hide it underneath here. And what I didn't realize until I hooked it up, much to my delight, is that when it picks things up, it, uh, they poof. Poof. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, it makes the contraption just even that much more fun to watch. Um, and so we'll we'll check that out here in just a bit. But um, yeah, I think the I think the white's going to work a lot better there. So here's here's what we're going to do. Um, I've as you can see, I've, I've raised it up a little bit. I've got the stuff out of the ground. I've I've protected my redstone wiring here with some of this really cool uh, glax from X Tones. Um, I've used some uh, in a couple other parts of the base, but it's it's so clear, it's almost impossible to see in the other parts. But this looks really neat, I think. Um, sorry, babbling. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the stones right onto the ran and carpus. Uh, and sorry, I was gonna do this part for you guys because I never see anybody make the uh, floating flowers, it seems. But I just I just couldn't contain myself. But uh, if you want instructions on how to make your flowers float, just let me know, and uh, and I'm sure I can yeah you know, I can make some of those guys float over there or something like that. But anyway, um, what basically what this does is this, this allows me to put it, the random carpus directly on the block that I want it to drop stuff off, so I don't have to have a, a dirt block. Be between it and the piston here. And that basically allowed me to place the random carpus as high as possible above this grid down here. Um, if I placed it, if I had a piece of dirt there with the random carpus on top of it, the random carpus would be too high up. Uh, and so if I lowered this whole thing down, then it would just, I don't know, it would look silly. So anyway, I think it's perfect. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And, it, and it's just it's just far enough, just close enough that it can reach these this last row down here. Um, the reason that I raised it up, though, is because it was grabbing redstone when it was down here. So if we had a redstone block and it got busted by these things, the random carpus could grab the redstone and it would lay it down on the piston, which kind of messed things up a little bit. So I'm hoping that by placing it high up like that, it won't be able to grab any of the blocks down here. And I don't think it can. Um, well, actually, it won't be able to before the collector does. At least I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. We'll find out, won't we? We sure will. So next what we need to do is need to uh, feed the blocks into that hopper. And so what was going on last time was that I was trying to time the hopper drops off directly uh, out of that. So I was trying to send five pulses into that thing in rapid succession so it would drop the five stones needed to replace the ones that were being busted down here. And um, it just wasn't quite fast enough. And because it was requiring like a looping redstone signal from the sequencer, if another row fired while that sequence was running, the, that signal wouldn't reach the sequencer. And so that row wouldn't, that wouldn't get replaced. And it was kind of messing things up. Uh, for the most part, what was ending up is I would get fewer and fewer stones out here as time went on. But occasionally, for some reason, I'm still not quite sure how I would end up with an excess of stones just sitting on the random carpus. So um, I, I hope to have addressed the problem here with my, my new design. And uh, before I can show it to you, though, I've got to set up this way to feed the... Um, the dropper with stone. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something, I've never used this before, but this is the hopping item interface from Actually Editions. I've used a regular item interface, uh, just never used the hopping one. All right, here we go, hopping item interface, cool. Uh, next thing that we're gonna need though to make this work is we're gonna need the lasers also. And um, let's see, we make those by just, yeah, zapping the energy lasers. Uh, more of those things. Let's see. Um, it makes a batch of four, right? Yeah, that should be plenty. So let's just make one 
one recipe's worth and there we go we also are going to need the laser wrench and oh that's another basic coil okay oops uh oh oh no <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, it doesn't look like we are actually getting the uh, rock quartz. It's not, not the rock quartz, but the black quartz from actually additions with our machine. Boo! Okay, well, I guess I got to go mining, guys. <laughs> I really had not intended to have to do that at all this episode, much less right off the bat. And voila, I'm back, and I've got some stuff. Yay. I'm going to go throw these in this redstone furnace over here because I'll actually get more crystals out of it because I have this flux anodizer upgrade. Yeah, see, I'm getting two out of it. That's that's what we want. We want to get two out of it. All right, laser wrench. Here we come. Woo! Kapow. Right. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got that here. Let's put a bunch of precious things in my bag that don't need to be in here. There we go. We are going to go up here, and we're going to put this hopping item interface. Uh, we're going to point it into our precision auto dropper. I think like that. I could put it on top too, but I think I'll make like a little, a little thing that kind of goes around it here. Um, okay, well, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for now. <laughs> oh, oh, we need to make our item relays. Hang on a second. Uh, can't get down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the problem with having that wand in your offhand. You're just kind of stuck there. All right, so we need to make uh, our energy lasers into item lasers. And what we do is we zap them. That turns them into the fluid ones. And then we zap those again. That turns them into the item ones. There we go. Okay, now we can go back over here and we can place one on top of... Okay, you know what? <laughs> These wands are really handy, but they're also kind of vexing sometimes. All right, here we go. Let's put one of our lasers on top of here. Boop, like that. Now, these only have a range of about 16 blocks, so we need to take that into account. Well, let's grab our tape measure. And let's clicky. Okay, there we How far is that? That's 16. Wow. Okay. That's handy. So that means we can kind of put it somewhere in here and it'll be just fine. So let's see if we can set it here. Um, no, I'm not going to like that. You know, let's, let's set it here. Okay. We'll set it here. Now what we'll do is we'll connect that laser to this one. Hopefully we're within range. Nope. Too far. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Uh, maybe like that. Oh, that'll be better anyway if it works. Yes. Okay, there we go. So we got a laser there. Pew, pew, pew. Lasers! There we go. Okay, so we'll go straight up then with our laser beam. If this works, then we're in like Flynn. Yeah, okay. That... Well, and yeah, the laser works. Can I get into the chest? That's the question. <laughs> okay. Will the chest work? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're not going to worry about putting the timer on that hopper, that, the dropper up there, because we just have it set to drop anything that we that, that uh, enter, enters into it. So all we have to do is we just have to time the... Um, the feeding the proper amount of stones into this chest and we're going to do that really really low tech real low tech real real just using simple vanilla mechanics what we're going to do is we're we're just going to send uh, uh we're just going to fire off five of these hopper or five of these droppers all at once droppers yeah five droppers fire off five of these droppers all at once into this chest <laughs> and that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna trap myself. <laughs> Rats. Uh, there, did that go in? I think that went the right way. Okay. 
All right, there we go. So these will just feed in their their stones into this at five at a time. So all five of them will fire. That'll put five stones in. Then they'll get sent. And by doing that, then uh, I don't have to actually. There's there's no delay if another signal comes in from another row. So when row one row pops, it just sends one signal. All five of these things fire. And uh, if another row pops, like right in the middle of that happening, not a big deal because the signal will just send another five. Uh, into the chest and we should be good to go. All right, so now I just need to wire all this up and of course deliver the stone into these hoppers and the wiring it part's not a trouble. <laughs> Feeding the stuff into the hopper though, while doing that might be a bit of trouble. And for that, I'm using XNet. I went ahead and made the controller and all that. Let's put it right here so we can have uh, just a little extra access in the back if we need to. And I have a feeling this wall is going to get pushed out, and that's okay. Here, let's put this stuff back in. Alright, so next what I need to do is I need to tie in to the uh, XNet network that's over here on this side. Um... Yeah, let's see. So it's good to have a it's good to have this stock of stone right here. So we'll pull out of this to fill these up, I think. Um so let me just think about this here for a second. So I just need to go underneath here. Just you know what? Sometimes it's instead of digging underneath everything, it's just easier to dig down to it. So let's do that. There's my sink. <laughs> I found the sink, guys. Uh, okay, let's see here. Oh, that means there's a connector down here. That's cool. Just tie into that. Where are you? There you are. Blue connector. Okay, cool. So then we can bring a... Um, I think I could probably just... Can I just put this one right here like that? Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Oh, it's a connector. Yeah, that's a connector. Um, did I do it wrong? Let me go look at my example over here been a little while since I made this. That's the router. Oh, I need to make the router. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, gotcha. Oh! Mm. <laughs> ender pearls! Man, come on! Don't have ender pearls. <laughs> Alright, well let's get this let's get the rest of this stuff in place and get it out of my inventory and then I can go find some ender pearls and then uh, then we'll be good to go. Okay, so the uh, router is going to go on to there and then I will put a connector here. The router will be there and then we'll have the connector for this here. Here. And then, um, like so. There we go. What a mess. What a mess. It's going to work, though. Time to go find some Enderman. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, got a pearl. Another pearl. Okie dokie, we got our ender pearls. Jeez. Okay, there are the routers. All right, so there is that. And we want the main energy to be called power. Here, let's call it capitalized. Here, let's, ooh, let's do them all capitalized. That's good. Water. Power, um, lava, lava, <laughs> lava. Cool. And then over here, yes, excellent. Let's see. Let's let's create an energy network. Okay. And there is stone control. So here we're going to insert energy on the uh, stone oops here we go let's see we got to name the channel so we're going to call it stone energy cool then we go down here where i just closed everything off no we can go this way we go down here and we say stone energy is the same channel as power and 
nothing happens. <laughs> Hang on. What's going on here? Router. Ah, the router does need power. Okay. Uh, something doesn't seem to be jiving here. I'm not sure exactly what's up. I'm not sure what's what's up here. Something is wrong. I'm sure in the way I've got this set up. Um, yeah, so I've got power going into both routers. That seems to be going through just fine. What's not going through, at least not the uh, this router, yeah, that one over there <laughs> is not, it's not taking the liquids through. So I had a, the, the connector for the old Igneous extruder was right here still, and it wasn't connected to anything. I didn't think anything of it, but I think it was screwing this up. That was, that was irritating, but you know, it's, it's as is often the case, that's uh, the best type of learning experience. All right, so next what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to close up these holes. So let's go grab some more spruce. Wow, that took forever, guys. <laughs> I'm not, not going to tell you how long I banged my head against that. Um, but it's working. It's working. Knock on wood. Keep this up to code. All right, cool. So now we've got our Igneous Igneous extruder over here. Um, oh yeah, I guess I need to tell it to put stuff down there. Uh, let's see. Let's call this uh, stone depository. Now what we'll do is we'll take our stone depot. We're gonna take an item channel, right? We'll make an item channel. There we go. We will extract from our stone repository. Depository, whatever. Depository? Repository, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of both, I guess. We're depositing, in, well, whatever. Then we will uh, insert, 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 and insert. And we shouldn't have to tell it only stone. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now what's going to happen is this: these are all going to fill up with stone. And then, I mean, it's that's going to be a lot of stone. That's uh, what nine stacks times five, so it'll be five, forty stacks of stone, forty-five stacks of stone. Uh, pretty much going to clean this thing out. So this is going to be running for a while, filling back up. That's totally okay. That is totally okay. Uh, right. Oh man, this is so exciting, guys. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, next thing that we need to do is we need to wire these up to the the thing over there. So let's figure out how we're gonna do that. Um, let's go down underground here. Uh, first of all, let's see. Can we figure out kind of roughly where those guys are? Oh yeah, we can, because there's a laser. <laughs> That's handy enough. So right, right along this line right here. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to capture the pulses that get sent to these pistons over here. And this is how we can do this. This is so easy. So, so easy. If you guys saw the last way I had this set up, the last setup here where it was all the wires and there was the things over here and all this stuff, I was way over-engineered. <laughs> so over-engineered. This is super duper simple. Using a lot of vanilla mechanics here. Uh, whoops. We just come across like that. And that will actually detect the signal off of these connectors as they go by. And so that'll just send our signal this way. And wouldn't you know, that is just wildly convenient right there because that is exactly the direction we need to go. Uh, oops. I saw some headroom here though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa, wrong. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. That is the the end there. Then we can repeat it. Do it the right way though. <laughs> there we go. We can repeat the signal then. Six. Well, I think what I can do. I think I can do like this. Let's see. Let's grab our <clears throat> let's grab our engineer's hammer and wherever that is. Uh, there it is. Jeez. <laughs> it's just too much, too much stuff in my bag. Uh, all right. Grab engineer's hammer. And that is set to input because the signal is going into it. Perfect. That's what we want. And then we can set that one, that one, that one easily enough. Um, those need to be set to output though. 
And then uh, hopefully this will work. Yeah, okay. Uh, problem is I need to get it to these other two over here. So I might need to rearrange how their connectors are, you know, connected. Okay, so then that, that, that frees this one up then. I can do like that. We'll see if this works. Hopefully this will send the signal into this. Into, into this. Let's just turn this channel off for a second. We'll stop loading these. 40. That one worked. Okay, okay, that's working. That one that's not getting anything. 59. Yep, that one works. That one's working. Okay, so just need to get the stones loading into these other two. Uh, that one doesn't need to be up. How do I do this? Round robin? Does that work? Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, I think it's working, guys. Okay, all right. So our box is, uh, yeah, quickly emptying out. Right, this one is filling. This one is filling. Oh, there it went. Oh, oh, it's working. Was that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it was. Oh, friends, that's exciting. It's working now, and it is looking sharp. It is looking sharp. I'm very excited about this. This glass is totally unnecessary. It kind of makes it makes the structure look maybe just a little bit more, uh, you know, structured. <laughs> a little bit more structured. <laughs> Uh, that's fantastic. That is that is the dumbest thing I've made in a while. It makes me very happy. <laughs> I think that's probably going to do it for the day. I thank you guys so much for showing up and supporting me in this endeavor. I would just especially like to welcome my new subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. You guys really made my weekend. You did, all of you. Thank you, uh, Serious Creeper, for uh, pointing out uh, my channel to some of your uh, viewers. And thank you, Serious Creeper viewers, for popping over and uh, showing me some love, showing me some support. Really made my weekend to have my views go over 1,500. That's right. Since August, when I started doing this, I now have over 1,500 views. And... The magic 4 4-0 subscribers. I don't know if that's magic, but it was magic to me when I saw it. So thank you guys very much and welcome. And I hope you guys enjoy the series. Please subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, grab your grandmother, drag her in here, make her watch it. And uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Feed the beast. Revelation. Woo-woo. Way too much astral sorcery. Yay.